So to install Ruby on your machine, you can move to this website. This website is known as Ruby Installer for Windows. So basically you can download, click on the download button here and then you will have all the versions. So, so make sure you install one with the dev kit so it will uh, help you. So you can install Ruby with the dev kit and you can click on like this is like uh, you can click on any and uh, depending on your requirement like the 32 bit and 64 bit you can install it. So uh, like I had downloaded this uh, one which is at the top so you can also download it and when you download you will get an installer which will uh, like take some time to install and then uh, like it's a very like e that's a very e easy process to install it will keep on installing and when you will install this installer then you can move ahead with this doc so this is another uh, like uh, website you can refer this so this is like a rubydoc.org so you can also refer to this website okay uh, then you can like these are the two documentations you can refer and this is how we like uh, yeah so let's uh, move on to the tutorial so after like moving to the installation and documentation you can start uh, running some root programs on your machine so we will initially uh, start with them so i'll show you how you can create one and uh, run one so let's move to the programming part so this is my vs code editor so like i have created a folder uh, with the name ruby so Ruby uh, basically what you can do first uh, you have a command line here so what you can do so you can create a file a new file and you can type hello dot rb so basically ruby files are run with this uh, extension and then you can uh, uh, yeah so basically now I'm inside this uh, a folder which has an, a hello dot rb file to make sure you have installed ruby on your machine you can type ruby minus v okay so ruby minus v would give me the like the version which i have installed and it's perfectly fine okay now now first we are going to create a hello world ruby program okay so what we are going to do we are going to like first clear this so now we are going to do put s hello world okay so this would like put as hello world would create the ruby program now to run the ruby program what you need to do ruby hello dot rb so this would like run the program on your machine so this gives the output hello world so we will start with some few basics like one is like creating the variables so this is like a is equal to one okay uh, b is equal to two and we are going to do uh, what uh, okay I'll show you one thing and we are going to put this in a variable a, uh, a plus b c c is equal to a plus b and we are going to do put as c so uh, first I'll run this and I'll show you how this works so it works perfectly fine uh, but if you want to do some like string formatting so what you can do you can put like this and you can do the sum of a okay the sum of a plus b is equal to C okay okay first I'll run this program and I'll show you what I'll do I'll run this uh, again I'll clear this and I'll run this so here you see the sum of a plus b is equal to C this doesn't satisfy our condition so you need to apply string formatting for what for that what you can do you can put a hash symbol and put them inside a curly braces so this would get the value of that particular variable okay now it will format inside the string and now you can run this now the sum of 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so this is how we achieve it so it was a good example there is another statement in ruby i'll show you which says print print hello world okay uh, and i'll clear this again and i'll run this program yeah so it says hello world 